Talking Turtle. Good afternoon everybody, this is Carl talking from Australia. Where are we James? In Hobart yes. at the show? Yes, great. So I'm, I'm holding one of our jumbo dinosaurs here. So these are extremely popular in the UK. Everybody puts them in the outside area for the children to play with. They are incredibly brilliant. Can't break them. The children can't break them. They're great for the children to play with outside. So we've got a set of five, one, two, three, four, five. They come as a set. And then you've got the two T-Rexes. Um, so as I say, they're incredibly popular for outside. We've got the smaller ones. These are the ones for the babies, for the smaller children. Um, everybody worries about these being damaged by biting. No problem. So this little set here, there's six dinosaurs in this set here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that set there, they're great for the babies. In fact, they're great for all ages. Um, if we then move over to this range of products that we've got. So these are what we call the toon animals. So we've got dinosaurs, we've got um, wild animals, and we've got farm animals. These sets are designed for the babies and for settings where people don't want things to look too scary. So some people think the, the natural looking um, animals look a bit scary. Um, but if you don't want scary, you want something that just looks a bit more toony, we've got those as well. And under the bottom here, we've got hiding is the, the pets. So if you're doing a pet corner uh, within your setting, these are ideal. So we've got a set of eight dogs there, incredibly popular. We also have a set of cats, which we haven't got. Couldn't fit those in my suitcase. Hello again, everybody. So in the corner here, we have our play oh. sets. Oops. So with the play sets, um, these are all ideal for one-to-one -one play. So we're starting off with our multicultural sets. So we've got the TP set, which is all made out of material. Um, oh, Carl's destroying the stand, but there you go. That's life. I'll leave that there for the moment. Um, we've got the igloo set, so you get the, the nice material no! set with all the wooden bits on, as I'm just completely destroying the stand here. And then we've got the, uh, the space set. We've got the English castle. Um, we've got people that help us, so we've got the hospital, and we've got the police station. Um, we also have a fire station. Um, but we've not got that one with us. Um, I've also got the teapot, um, the farm, and my favourite, which is the pirate ship. So these are all natural, all made, out, all made out of wood. Um, then we've got the, the figurines along the top there, so you can kind of um, add to the play sets. Um, but these are great for one-to-one -one play with the children, so they can get 
Um, one set out off the shelf, take all the figurines out of it, have a play with it, be nice and creative, play with their friends, and then put them all back in, and then they just get popped away again. Hello again everybody, so this is our tough tray with all the insects, mini beasts um, in it. So this set here, uh, this is our original mini beast set. Uh, there's actually one missing, so I think there must be um, a thief in Hobart at the moment. Um, all these mini beasts are incredibly strong and they're a good size. Um, I know there's smaller ones and bigger ones on the market, but the feedback we get from these is it's a great size. Uh, the only issue is they end up in children's pockets, but uh, I know most settings tend to check the children's pockets these days. Um, they also have underneath them um, the name of what each one is. So I'm not saying that staff don't know what they are, but sometimes people tend to forget. So that's that scorpion. I don't know if you can see that okay. That shouldn't be in that set, that should be in that set. Um, so on the Mini Beast, that's the most popular set that we do, which is a set of 12. And then just recently, we've just introduced the lizards and butterflies, which is this set here. So you get all these lizards and butterflies uh, in a set, which is a nice addition to the original Mini Beast set. Um, and then we've got this spider set, which is a really nice set. Now, the idea with this set is you can use them for sizing as well. So you've got the large spider, You've got the medium-sized spiders and the small spiders. So these can be used for a multiple of things. They can be used for counting. They can be used for sorting, sizing, uh, you name it. And this one here is quite sensory. Um, and there's always somebody in the nursery that doesn't like spiders. So you can also have a little bit of fun with those. Um, and then finally in the tough tray, we've got this new range here of lizards. Um, this is a nice addition. Um, a set of six, all different colors, all nice colors. Um, all nice and bendy. So that's another nice resource that can go in the sand, the water, or, you know, whatever. So here we're looking at our uh, fantasy play. So um, all these, oh, let's get on the floor. Um, so all these double-headed monsters, these are all designed for fantasy play. As I'm sure you all probably know, the idea of fantasy play is to encourage the boys and girls to play together. Um, so these are incredibly popular, especially over in the UK, um, where they're trying to get the boys and girls to play together and you know be creative. Um, we've also got um, the dragons, so these jumbo, so these are good if you want to create like a dragon garden outside. So we've got the single headed, the double headed and the three headed. These are also good for counting as well. Obviously we've got one head, uh, two heads and three heads. Um, so as I say, these are also a good resource to use outside as well. And again for fantasy and also for numeracy because you can count how many heads uh, you know, you've got two heads plus the one head equals the three heads, etc.
Ha, ha, ha.